Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today we are going to be doing a first impressions using the Alter Ego Goddess Palette. This is what the outer unicarton looks like. Apparently I already got powder on it. But yeah, so this is what the outer packaging and then the ingredients are on the back. Um, Alter Ego is who used to own Shop Hush. Um, Shop Hush shut down and I am so excited for this palette because it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona gold palette. And I own most of Natasha Denona's palettes and I love the formula, not so much the cost, but um, I was hoping that they would do a dupe palette because I own a lot of their palettes from when they were Shop Hush and I own all of the dupes for the Pat McGrath palettes and they did a phenomenal job with those. So I was really hoping that they would dupe out this palette. So we have one of these, my favorite. And then it has a mirror, but the mirror does not stand up, but it has a nice magnetic closure. It has a nice weight to it. It feels very, very sturdy. It's like sturdy cardboard. And then these are the shades. And I have been wanting the Natasha Denona Gold Palette for the longest time. Not sure why, because it is very neutral, but I just think that the tones are gorgeous. And especially like <clears throat> the shade, I guess in this, palette it would be Cassandra um is a is in the Natasha Nona palettes called Lime Chrome and uh, it's like a gold with like a green shift it's gorgeous so I'm so excited to use this palette today and I hope that you guys are excited too I have a few friends that have done videos on um this palette as well and I've been trying not to watch too many reviews on it I just like held that up um, the wrong way. I always do that and then I try to look into the mirror and it's like, no, that's not gonna work. So <laughs> um, I've been trying not to watch too many reviews on it yet. And then I'll, I'll go back and watch all the, you know, all their videos because I kind of wanted to, I don't know. I, I do that sometimes. Like sometimes I wanna form my own opinion first and then sometimes I want to know what I'm getting myself into. So it all depends on, on the product. So I'm just dipping into my MAC paint stick. This thing is almost done. Like I'm really scraping to get the last bit out. So, all right, I think let's pat it out. And I really like using this sponge. I don't know. It's very dense, but it's like, it's from the cream shop. I just spit. <laughs> it's very dense. And so I would never use it um, personally on my face because it's just too, like it does not, even when you wet it, like it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like it. So, okie doke. All right. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is... I really don't know. Um, dog hair. I think I'm going to take the shade Gaia, which is this matte, like, greenish blue here. And I'm going to take that on this flat, very small flat shader brush. And I want to put that all the way across in the crease. And I don't, like I said, I don't own the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, but I do own a lot of her eyeshadows, so I'm very familiar with her formula. And I'm just getting started, but so far this does feel similar to her formula. Like it's going on just as pigmented and all that stuff. I plan on doing some videos in the future with my Natasha Denona palettes. I haven't really used them very much on my channel. Um, I think I did a look with the Sunset palette and the Tropical palette when I first started, maybe even the Lila palette. Um, but I don't know, I just haven't really used them much which is a shame because they're beautiful. 
and I know Natasha Denona is expensive. Maybe that's why I haven't really featured it on my channel that much. So I don't mean to block you, but I definitely do want to use the products because I own them, so I should be using them, you know? Most of them were gifts for Christmas and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the shade Freya, which is a beautiful white gold duochrome on the same brush. My husband just got home and my dogs know it. And I'm just going to put that right above the crease. Same brush. That shade, if you want it to stick to your eyeshadow base, then you would definitely have to use an, um, a glitter glue. It's a very glittery shade, but hold on. I'm sorry. One second. Okay. Sorry. I just went to say hi to hubby who just got home. So I put Freya on both, um, brow bones. Now it doesn't really look like I did because if you look at it in the palette, it has a lot of glitter and shimmer and it's like a almost like a yellow gold. If I wanted it to show up like that on my brow bone, then I would have to use glitter glue because it's a very, very glittery formula. So, um, but I basically just, basically, no, basically just wanted it to kind of blend out the top of the bluish shade and I wanted it to um, set the eyeshadow base. So that's the only reason why I really wanted to use that shade. Okay, so now we are going to go in with some glitter glue, though, and I don't know what I did with my glitter glue. Hmm. Oh, I was smart, and I actually put it in my brush holder, so. Okay, so I'm going to take some on the back of my hand. Sometimes I put it directly on with my fingers. Sometimes I put it on with a brush. Today I'm doing it with a brush because since I'm not actually going to cut the crease with concealer, I wanna be really precise with where I put it. So I'm hoping that this um, eyeshadow will go ahead and cover the staining that I have. The staining is from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. That palette is probably one of the most staining palettes that I own. Sophie is having an allergy attack, apparently. Uh, the life of a Chihuahua owner, let me tell you. She is one of the cutest little babies ever, but Chihuahuas make a lot of noise and a lot of different noises. They make pig noises, they, you know, grunt, they snore, they hack, they cough. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade Artemis, which is this beautiful shimmery, like greenish blue shade. It's kind of like the shimmery version of what I have in my crease, but a little bit lighter and with a, I don't know, kind of like a goldish, I'm looking at, at it in the viewfinder, kind of like a goldish green, like shift. And I'm going to take that same brush. I really like this brush for being precise, it is the M124 from Morphe. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put that on the outer portion. Um, but yeah, like I was saying earlier, so I own the dupes for the Pat McGrath palettes and I feel like they're better because I own an actual Pat McGrath palette and the special shades that are in her her palettes are actually better in the dupe palettes. They did a phenomenal job doing a dupe for it. And so far, so far, <laughs> sorry, my husband is, um, making sure she's okay, but <laughs> she, I swear she makes those noises all the time. It's crazy. Um, but the special shades that are in the dupe palette are actually better. They're just more 
pigmented, whereas the Pat McGrath ones are very sheer and just a, a hot glittery mess sometimes. And that they're not like that in the dupe palettes from the brand that made those is actually Bad Habit, but it's a brand that Alter Ego or Shop Hush at the time worked with. So this shade is gorgeous. The only reason why it's taking so long to build it up is because um, I'm using such a small, like precise brush and I just want to, I don't want to go over the mat. I just wanted to go right below it. So I'm kind of taking my time, but it is gorgeous. And then I think I'm going to take Valkyrie, which is a, this is this shade. It's just a girl, gold, I almost said a gold. So it's that shade. And then after that, we're going to take the shade I was talking about that is called Lime Chrome. Mm, it's more like a topper. We'll see. I don't know. We'll start with Valkyrie and see how this goes. Oh, okay. Maybe this is the one that dupes the shade Lime Chrome. I thought it was the other one but I think it's this one. Wow. That is stunning. Okay. I love that. I love it already. I'm still going to put a little bit of that other shade just to see what it looks like once I'm done putting this one down. Let me know if you guys have seen this palette. Oh, by the way, this palette is $16 instead of $129, which is how much the Natasha Denona Gold palette is. And I don't know, I can't believe that it's $129. I mean, I can't believe that this is only $16.99 or $16 when the other one is 129 because that's a huge price difference. And I can tell you formula wise, not much of a difference in terms of um, formula quality and all that stuff and the ease of like using them. I might even say that this is a little bit easier to use than Natasha Denona because her shimmer shades are very flaky now these are these are flaky but they're not um they're only like the really like glittery ones are but i don't know i just feel like hers are worse or more glittery so i'm going to take this the topper shade and i'm just going to kind of put that all over the other one and it's just going to give it a little bit of a shift probably not make that big of a difference. This is definitely more, more of a topper shade that I don't understand. Maybe it would be good for like an inner corner highlight, but I definitely think Valkyrie is the one that dupes slime chrome. I don't know. All right, let me go clean this up, do my base, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. So I'm going to go into the Pac-Man Wet n Wild um, blush palette and I think I'm going to use either this one or this one I haven't decided but I think for this eye shape eye shape eye tone I think it will be the best choice um but yeah so now I can go and watch my friends videos I mean I I do watch um I don't know it's like hit and miss like if I've never tried the brand before um, or if it's something that I really want to form my own opinion on without any, you know, outside influence, then I will avoid watching reviews. If I want to get an opinion on whether or not I should buy something, then I tend to watch ahead of time. And 
usually if it's a friend of mine that has posted the video, I'll watch regardless because, you know, but on this one specifically because I own so many Natasha Denona palettes and I really wanted to make my own choice, um, I, I think I've only watched one or two videos. No, I think, it, I think just one. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was just one. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up. And I almost don't want to use any bronzer because it's a very warm blush, but I think I'll use just, what I'm going to do is sometimes I like to take just my bronzer brush and just run it across my forehead and my nose and not put any additional product because it usually still has like some bronzer left on there. What's so funny is I always talk about how my, um, I always feel like I get, you know, foundation and powder in my hairline. And I was watching Alicia from X Sparkage today and she did a video on how she refreshes her hair. And I thought to myself, same, because she was talking about how she always gets, um, she always loses her hair color or it fades first, um, on her hairline because she's always washing makeup out of her hair or the makeup is like causing it to fade a little bit quicker. So I have that same exact problem. I feel like my hair color always fades around my hairline first because of the fact that I'm constantly like taking a makeup wipe or washing my face or whatever to try to get the makeup out of my hairline and I think that because of that it just causes the purple or whatever color my hair is at the time to fade quicker so and the hair color that I use um I don't like to get this purple I don't bleach my hair first so it's just going over my natural hair color which is like a reddish brown it's like an auburn shade so um I have this one baby hair so I had a baby hair wait what do I want to do next lower lash line I had a baby hair and I decided to cut it because it was like I don't know it was like probably down to like here and then I just decided one day to cut it off. I don't know how to explain it. I was being dumb. I'm going to go into the shade Avalon, which is a chocolate brown. I think I'm going to use that for the lower lash line. And um, so I decided to cut it really short. And now it's growing back in and it's driving me nuts because it keeps like it's so short. See how short that is? And I constantly feel like I'm trying to like plaster it to my head so that it won't stick out and that seems to be the spot that I get makeup on first sorry I have something in my eye um yeah I like this chocolate brown and I personally do think that this formula the matte formula I think is better than the Natasha Denona and the shimmer, I think, is better than the Natasha Denona. The mattes seem to be more buttery and more blendable, less dry. I feel like Natasha Denona sometimes has, like, more of a dry matte formula. And in terms of shimmer, the, um, her, like, these shimmers tend to be less glittery and flaky than hers, which is the same experience that I had with the Pat McGrath um, dupe palettes. So I'm going to take a highlighter brush. I don't even know what I want to use as a highlighter. Can I use any of these? Yes, I can use Freya. Freya, Freya, I don't know. Let me spray my face just a little bit. What's funny is that lately I've actually been liking the way that my highlighter looks better when I don't spray my face as much. I thought that I really liked liked it, and I do, um, but I don't know. I almost feel like I like it a little bit better when I don't spray my face, like when I don't make it like soaking wet. 
it blends easier. It's less patchy because when you're putting highlighter on a wet face, you know, sometimes it sticks in like clumps or whatever. Okay, I take my blush brush, just kind of work those two together. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. So, oh, now I can put mascara on my lower, lower lash line. So in September, I've decided that I want to do once a week, not more than what I just did to my nose. <laughs> in September, once a week, I want to do September or spooky September. And I want to post one Halloween related makeup look per week um, to get us ready for Pinkoween. Kind of like a countdown to Pinkoween. So let me know what you think about that. And, you know, I can pull out my Halloween related makeup and we can do, you know, some, just some fun Halloween-ish looks. They probably won't be costume looks. I mean, maybe here and there, but mostly they will be, um, like just Halloween colored or fall colored, um, makeup looks. I'm just taking this. This is the Sigma FO3 highlighter brush, and I really like it. I think it was Anielica Nequest that um, I saw it on her channel, and I bought it, and I love it. Okay, so lips is it. So I'm going to use this shade. This is from, everything has powder on it, or foundation. This is from Juvia's Place. This is in the shade Mina, and it's like a burgundy wine color. I've been wearing like darker lip colors lately here and there and I like it. I've also been trying to use different lip shades and I am going to start um, probably in August. Oh, I'm terrible at applying this. In August, I want to start this thing where I'm going to get a jar and every time I do my makeup on camera, I'm going to choose a different lip color to use. And that's the worst liquid lipstick application I've ever seen. Um, I'm going to choose a different lip color each time. And then when I use it, it will go into this jar. And then I'm like, I can, I'm gonna allow myself to use it again if I'm using it for collaboration, for a specific color scheme. Like if it's the only like lime green lipstick I have, you know, obviously I'll have to use it again if I do a look that requires it. But just on a daily basis, I'm going to, like force myself to use a different lip color every day just for fun not because you know trying to get rid of anything or you know trying to force myself to do stuff like that I don't want to do but I just want to use all the lip colors I have at least once I want to see which ones you know have changed in consistency or smell like have they gone bad if they have I'm gonna throw them away um, you know, and I just feel like I tend to gravitate towards the same five lip colors, like all the time. And then none of my other lip colors get used. And I think I have enough lip colors to last me if I wear one every day, probably for like a year, maybe, I don't know, but we're going to see. And I think that'll be fun. Like, I think it'll be fun to see how many days I can go without wearing the same lip color twice. So let me know what you think about that down below. So this is my first look using the Goddess palette from Alter Ego. I love this palette. I think it's great. I am so happy, especially for me, that I purchased this instead of the Natasha Denona Gold palette because for me, spending $129 on a neutral palette is just not... A good idea because you guys know I do a lot of colorful looks and I just know that I would use it but I wouldn't use it that much and 
considering how little I use my Natasha Denona palettes that I do own already that do have a lot more colorful, like of a, like a more colorful color story than this, I just know that it would sit there and I would feel bad. It would be another palette that I would feel bad about because it's an expensive palette that I'm not using. This was $16 and you know, if I use it like, and I could see myself definitely reaching for this, but I just think that for a colorful makeup lover to buy a neutral palette that costs that much is just wasting money. So I think that this is a really good alternative. I think that Alter Ego did an amazing job duping the shades and I totally recommend it. It's Anya approved. I love it. And, um, I will try to link their website down below, but like I said, it's $16 and I know that there are some people, if I can remember who has a code, I will link their code below as well, because I know a lot of people have 10% codes, so you can get 10% off of the $16. So yeah. So let me know what you thought of this look. Let me know if you own the Natasha Denona gold palette. Um, let me know if you've done a similar look to this with it and what did you think of the pigmentation of this versus your Natasha Denona gold palette. I love you guys so, so much. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.